School Purge's books published before 2008 in Indoctrination Push. So in the name of inclusivity, they eliminate everyone else that they don't like. We're number one. California still has the highest poverty rate in USA. The state of California still leads the United States in poverty, according to new U.S. Census data released Tuesday. If you call the police, I'll cough. Florida man arrested for robbery using cough as a weapon. Spray him with a bottle of alcohol and hand him a cough drop. Please show your passport. Sorry, you're only on your ninth, and we don't sell to racists. Coming soon to a town near you. Just in case you thought I was kidding, the G20 elites announced plan for worldwide adoption of digital ID and CBDCs. The group of 20 leaders have agreed to a plan that eventually imposed digital currencies and digital IDs on their respective populations. Disney stock at nine-year low as anti-woke boycott continues. Seen an article where they are trying to blame it on everything except this. They didn't mention anything about that. If you manage to lose an $80 million fighter jet, you don't get to lecture anyone about responsible cartridge dispenser ownership. Congress just voted to exempt themselves from IRS auditing of their personal finances to keep the country stable. This is what Blunt Force Takeover looks like. Of course, this is meant to hide bribes, theft, and embezzlement. All the checks and balances are dead, people. All the so-called checks and balances has been dead for a very long time. JP Morgan CEO demands world government seize private property to save the planet. Some of you might have heard the phrase, you'll own nothing and be happy. Harvard is named the worst school for free speech, scoring zero out of a possible 100. You guys can read the rest of it there. Signals that baffled astronomers for 17 years traced back to the observatory's microwave oven. Astronomers solve 17-year-old radio beeping mystery. It was their microwave. Guarantee you they got a lot of funding during those 17 years, and they'll continue to do so. Bernie Sanders doubled his income last year by writing a best-selling book that condemns capitalism. Canadian Prime Minister slams authoritarianism in Russia and China. We shouldn't have to live like this. This will be everywhere soon. There's going to be a lot of them look like this, too. Walmart makes a first ever change to prevent crimes in Superstore. The Supercenter will reopen in 2024 and may look unrecognizable in an effort to prevent the rise of retail crimes. Walmart is now planning to reopen the Vine City location with a major upgrade. Walmart reopens with a police substation. Atlanta Mayor said the former Vine City Supercenter will reopen with a pharmacy, grocery store, and police station to help combat crime and better serve the neighborhood. The previous Supercenter did not have this feature. After talking with the Merchants Associations on MLK and Clark University and other people in the neighborhood, folks were saying they want to see more of a police presence. When it reopens, the store will be a neighborhood market, which is typically one-fifth the size of a supercenter. Chicago Harris Airport turned into migrant shelter, growing crisis hidden from the public behind black curtains. German client idiots use new type of glue, requiring jackhammer to break free. Climate activists inspiring drivers to give up their petrol cars in stunning, brave demonstration. All these people are just tools being used for the agenda. UK Extinction Rebellion blockades the wrong truck. That's cooking oil. UK climate protesters have allegedly plumbed the new depths of raw stupidity by blockading the delivery of cooking oil. How, with reportedly racist name, wins award at State Fair, prompting complaint from attendee. The evolution of medicine. This is true to a high degree. When you are told that mining coal is bad, but mining copper, lithium, cobalt, and nickel is good, you know you are being conned. 
And not only are there not enough of those resources to continue making all these batteries and things that they want, but the power grid is also strained to its limits already, and yet they want to cut all the coal and gas and everything else from the power grid. 97% of climate scientists agree that they don't want to be defunded. Fifth graders get inappropriate assignment on 9-11 anniversary that leads to teacher's removal from the classroom. The assignment from the health teacher at that middle school asks students to choose people to accompany them into a fallout shelter in the event of a nuclear attack on Long Island. The station said students were asked to choose six people from the following list. You guys can read the list if you want to. This is ridiculous. Kamala Harris says U.S. must reduce population to fight climate change in latest gaffe. I think I had this in a different video, but if you've listened to all the, I'll just call them higher ups, what they've point blank and openly stated for years now, is this really a gaffe? Mexican parents burn textbooks teaching gender ideology and communism. Apparently 12,000 people took to the streets to protest Marxist indoctrination in schools. If only people here were that smart. August 2020. 750 million genetically engineered mosquitoes approved for release in Florida Keys. August 2020. EPA approves release of genetically engineered mosquitoes in Texas next year. December 2022. BioNTech starts human trials to test malaria vaccine. June of 23, first U.S. malaria cases diagnosed in decades in Florida and Texas. Oh, that's just a coincidence. You're just one of these tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorists. Dyer in the Empire. New York's income drops to 16 billion compared to as residents flee. One of these is a puppet that is controlled by someone else. The other is a doll made out of wood. Zero days without classified military documents being leaked on War Thunder forums. Crime shot up. San Francisco Police Union Chief blames defund movement for city's lawlessness. Blue City District Attorney decries culture of lawlessness and bolden brazen criminals. People believe you can just walk into a store, take what you want, and walk out while the rest of us stand there waiting to pay. They don't just think this, they know this, because laws were made to help them do this, and so that nobody else could do anything about it. Me listening to my grandfather's dating advice, knowing full well that if I followed it, I'd be on a government watch list. The Facebook team after I log out for the night. That's probably true. U.S. offers work permits to half a million Venezuelans already in the country. And that's just the people from Venezuela, not including all those from the Middle East and all the rest of the world. Breaking, the U.S. military is asking the public for help in locating a missing $80 million F-35 stealth fighter jet that disappeared over North Charleston, South Carolina. Officials have reported that there is no concrete evidence of a crash. The pilot has been found and transported to a hospital. So they were saying that the pilot ejected but there was no evidence that the plane crashed. I think they said later that the plane was on autopilot. If that was the case, then why did the pilot eject again? The regime that said cartridge dispenser owners would need F-15s and nukes to take on the U.S. government just lost an F-35. Missing. Have you seen me? Have found contact the U.S. Air Force. The F-35 crash site they claim they found in South Carolina. There were some initial reports that the plane's computer had been hijacked and the pilot was remotely ejected. And later on, there was reports that the plane landed in Cuba. And then after all that, a little while later, all of a sudden the military supposedly found the crash site in South Carolina. F-35 stealth fighter jet, $80 million plus 550 shipping. See, here's how we know that the plane didn't actually crash. It's already on eBay. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so, as it's free to you, and it would really help to support the channel. I just hit 200 subscribers yesterday, 
but I need a minimum of 1,000 subscribers in order to send in an application to YouTube for monetization. I love making these videos for you guys and I hope you enjoy them. But in order for this channel to continue, I have to be able to get it monetized. So as I said, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you enjoy the videos, please share them on your social media pages or any other method, as that would also greatly help to support the channel. Again, I thank you all for watching. Everyone stay safe and have a great day.